family, it's the organization as a family. Everyone's involved in the front office staff, the teammates, the coaches. Um, it's been great. It's been a great three years here, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. I'm excited. I think that you know our league, our league has so much parity, and it's exciting to um, have a challenge. You know, every time you step on the field, um, it can be frustrating. You know, uh, when some you lose some, but I think that's also what makes the league special is that you can win. Any team can win any day, and um, you, know, you have to bring your A game to every game. I think that we're going to surprise some people this season. Some people are underrating us, and I'm excited um, to step up, get some wins in, and um, for people around us. Just a new year, a new start. I mean, obviously we're 0-2 right now, um, but we have a new coach, we have new players. It's going to take a little while to get in the swing of things. Just kind of looking forward to the rest of the season. I'm looking forward to a lot of fans coming to our games and uh, continuing to prove on the field and continuing to improve the product off the field. It's really uh, something special to be a part of the Breakers because you know the organization has been around since the very beginning and it's um, it's amazing that they've um, been able to stay afloat through all of the leagues and uh, I feel a sense of loyalty and pride being a part of the Breakers and. I'm excited to see where the organization goes in the future. Um, that's a good question. I haven't really like, <laughs> thought about it yet. Um, I want to go to physical therapy school. I think that's the plan right now, um, whenever I decide to retire. Obviously, I want to play as long as I can, um, for as long as I'm healthy. Um, but obviously, you know, eventually have a family. I studied um, education in school, so maybe something along those lines. Um, but I haven't really thought about it yet. I'm kind of just focused on these next, you know, maybe five years uh, playing. So, we'll see what happens. I think I would like to stay involved in soccer in some aspect. I don't know if that would be as a career or not, but um, I definitely want to stay involved in some way. I could also see myself getting into business of some sort or you know something completely different than soccer. Uh, I would love to be a college soccer coach and continue um, helping grow the women's game and helping little girls realize their dream just in a different capacity. Instead of them watching me play, I would help teach them how to play. I grew up watching the 99ers. The, the U.S. national team, and then um, I was lucky enough to have like some of those national players playing for the Carolina Courage. Julie Foudy, um, probably because for one, she has the same name as me, has the same name as me. I really like Julie Foudy, um, and all the 99 national team members are the, kind of the symbol of females in sports. So cliche, but Mia Hamm was obviously one of my role models as a female soccer player. You know, I had like the Michael Jordan, of course. So. Michael Jordan fan. I was from St. Louis. I'm from St. Louis and Chicago Bulls were the closest team, so I was a big Michael Jordan fan. Carla Oberbeck, definitely. She was a Duke coach. Um, always loved Christine Lilly and of course me and you know, those 99ers were such a huge influence on me and everyone else, I think. 
I mean, it is pretty amazing. Every game, after every game when they have Autograph Alley here, I'm still like in shock that people want my autograph because I remember being that girl and so excited to meet people in and it is, it's very humbling. It feels really cool, you know, I, um, I don't really think about it until, you know, after the games when we're doing the Autograph Alley and stuff and, um, you know, it's, it is a responsibility and um, take a lot of pride in it. Um, it's inspiring for me um, because I feel like you know when you see little girls and stuff and they like want to play too, it just kind of you know, it's empowering and I just yeah. want to keep you know being a role model for them. I mean it's cool. It's uh, I don't really think of it like that, but it definitely um, you can see when you sign a, a little girl's autograph or um, give her a high five or something that means a lot to them. So it's a really cool feeling. Like I remember when I was young and I was looking up to the Breakers players who were playing professionally. Um, so it's good to be in their shoes now because I know how they made me feel when I was younger. I remember when I was one of those little girls and I went to watch the U.S. national team play Germany in St. Louis and I got their autographs on a popcorn box and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever experienced. I mean, I think I always dreamed of being a pro soccer player ever since I was little. Young, I started playing soccer when I was four. Um, I started at age three, but I was when I was in middle school. Since I was about five or six, I guess, um, I've always had the dream. I took it more serious when I got to college and realized that I couldn't imagine giving up soccer at the end of four years. When I went to BC and I had some experience with the national team, I knew that I could probably play professionally, and I was lucky enough to be yeah. drafted in the NWSL. I went to these games when I was younger. Uh, well, I grew up cheering for the Boston Breakers when they were in the WUSA, so um, for me it's a dream come true being uh, on the team that I rooted for when I was a little kid. You know, I like really looked forward to going to the games and seeing the girls, seeing the national team players. Um, so now, being fortunate enough to stand here as a Boston Breaker, it truly is special. I mean, I'm from Boston, so to be able to play for like, my home, uh, home state and my home city is amazing. And you know, it's just the best feeling ever. I'm just going to try to have a great season. Is it a video? Yeah. Okay.